You know, it's quite astounding the number of children who are in desperate need of dental care and there is a huge waiting list. Nearly one in five Australian children aged between four and ten have decay in more than 30% of their teeth. There is a growing dental crisis in this country. My next two guests are trying their best to stop it. Uh, joining me now are the founder of Planet Arc, John D, and dentist Barbara Shearer. Welcome both of you. Good morning. Um, okay, this is not a Planet Arc project, but no. you know, you've been uh, interested in a lot of other good Good work in your life. John, why this one? Well, this one's very important to me. Um, we've just had Oral Health Month with Colgate Run, and we were sitting down talking about how can we use Oral Health Month to teach people how to brush their teeth properly. And, and when I was having that conversation with Colgate, my daughter, who's four, her best friend had a major dental problem. The parents could not get treatment. They were put on a one-year waiting list. And so I made a few calls to try and speed it up, and I couldn't get anyone to help out. And that family ended up having to remortgage their house in order to get the child uh, treated privately. And that is such a familiar story. Yeah. Okay, and how so many I thought, people... Hey, you know, we've got to do something about it. Okay, how many people, um, Barbara, are on a dental waiting list for the government? Well, we believe that over 600,000 people are on dental public waiting lists across Australia. And children And that at least 45,000 of those are children. Mm. Look, and let's face it, the, the dental health way, dentists, nobody likes going to the dentist. Two, it can be very expensive with difficult problems. Three, it is mostly a poor issue. So it's bad health hygiene or dental hygiene as well as just poor uh, people who are not economically um, uh, advantaged mm. just don't have the money to go to the dentist. Is mm. it as simple as that, Barbara? Uh, certainly uh, it is. Uh, Prevention is certainly the key to good mm. dental health, and we know that there are two facets to prevention. Firstly, there's diet, um, and it's important that uh, sugary foods are limited, sticky mm -hmm. foods and acidic foods are limited, and that the frequency is, and that people remember to brush their teeth really well. You need to mm -hmm. brush with a fluoride, fluoridated toothpaste at least twice a day mm -hmm. in the mornings. But that's a huge bed. education that parents mm -hmm. have to uh, instill in the children. Now, that's mm -hmm. correct, but it's not happening. I mean, we don't mm -hmm. have fluoride. Uh, Queensland does not have fluoride. And in this day and age, to have young kids with decay is mm. appalling. Look, and we really need to change that. And what we've done, Brooke Satchwell has just presented a video for us, which we're going to put up on YouTube today, mm -hmm. which actually shows you how to brush your kids' teeth. So mm -hmm. the prevention message has to get out there. But what we've been doing together with Colgate and I is we've launched Bright Smiles, which mm -hmm. where we're getting, so far, we've got 180 dentists, surgeries, have volunteered their time mm -hmm. to treat kids in need. And we're, I'm very glad to say the Salvation Army mm -hmm. and Barnardo's have come on board. So when a dentist volunteers, mm -hmm. uh, what we then do is the Salvation Army lines up a family who are doing it really tough mm -hmm. and we get their kids and we're going to get those kids treated free of charge. How? That's magic. Okay, so it is, um, you know, you get to the right people and the mm -hmm. dentists are doing free work. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And the idea is that, you know, whether it's cleaning, filling, extractions, mm -hmm. we make sure that we bring the child's teeth up to scratch mm -hmm. and then teach them. And that's where Colgate have been incredibly helpful. They've mm -hmm. helped to fund the entire initiative mm -hmm. and take a leadership role so on that. So prevention is a key. So you've got to get the education mm -hmm. to parents about the sugary drinks. The more of those mm -hmm. little poppery things that they drink, it sits on their teeth all day and decay. And have decay in this day and age is appalling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once we've gone past prevention, mm -hmm. the cleaning of the teeth, now everybody goes, duh, cleaning your mm. teeth, how hard can this be? But you're, you're in fact going to demonstrate, and I know this is somewhat of a surprise. Mm. Well, yes, uh, as you say, cleaning the teeth is something that everybody thinks they know how to do, because I think when you brush your teeth, it's a very subconscious sort of act. But it's important really to think that every tooth has five surfaces. Mm. You need to clean the insides, the outsides, the tops, and the fronts and the bottom. So start with cleaning the outsides by getting your toothbrush and having it at about a 45 degree angle. Mm -hmm and just wriggling that along the gum line. It's along the gum line that where the, is where the plaque forms first. So you need to wriggle it uh, along each tooth. And, think and also that you're this doing is every not tooth. only just to clean the tooth itself, but also massage the gums, which yeah. are equally important Absolutely. to the tooth. Absolutely. So removing the plaque from along the gum line not only prevents tooth decay, but prevents gum disease as well. So once you've done the outsides of the lower teeth, do the outsides of the mm. upper teeth, then the insides. All around. So in a perfect world, how long should it take you to go through this process? It should take you about two minutes. Two minutes and, and then, minimum twice a day or any time you eat. Because as soon as you eat anything, mm. 
that food will stay on the surface of your teeth and immediately start to decay. That's right. Plant mm. forms as soon as you've stopped brushing. So it needs to be mm. removed at least twice a day. Okay, so how many dentists mm. do you have on board? So you're bypassing the government waiting list. Salvos Bernardos mm. are on board. How many dentists are, are you know, giving their services? Well, so far, 180 dental surgeries have volunteered their time, which is absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. because this is a pilot year. We want to iron out all the kinks and uh, with this first project. We want to get to about 250 dentists in the first year, mm -hmm. so we're treating about three, you know, at least 300 children who really need it. And as I said before, mm. these kids are coming from families that are being helped by the salvos, and and, uh, mm. and to that so end, you're we'll getting to the right people. Yeah. Well, you know, anybody who's ever had a toothache or whatever just knows the excruciating pain, and to let children suffer like that, mm. which will, of course, in turn, mm. but prevention of why they're getting the decay, yeah. fluoride, and then of course correct daily minimum two minutes a day um, wonderful um, a wonderful cause and well done for organizing and can it. I say we do want to get in 70 more dentists we've had people like Dental Care Network help okay. us but if there are, if are any surgeries watching please do get involved and you need obviously on a national level absolutely and just go to the website brightsmiles.net.au mm -hmm. well congratulations um, marvelous work Barbara thank you very much you. and you very much. I know everybody thinks they know how to clean their teeth but <laughs> funny enough you do forget were you surprised I was actually when we did the video with Brooke Satchwell that's up on YouTube today I, I was looking at it thinking I've been brushing my teeth wrong for 40 years <laughs> <laughs> and it's too important thank you John thank you Barbara thank you. Okay.